Hey, what's up guys? This is the ASUS Zen Wi-Fi Pro ET12. I'm going to unbox this thing, do some speed tests and wired and wireless backhaul, as well as do some range tests, both with my Wi-Fi 6E device, Pixel 6 Pro, and with my Wi-Fi 6 device, iPhone 13 Pro Max. So, this is supposed to be the faster version of the ASUS ET8, which I've already reviewed. I have actually a few videos on this one, so I'm very excited to test this thing out because this is a essentially a faster version of that. So it has a speed rating of AXE 11,000. It is a tri-band system and does support Wi-Fi 6E, covers up to 6,000 square feet. So looking at the back of this thing, we could see that from Wi-Fi 4 all the way to Wi-Fi 6, everything was in the 5 gigahertz band, but with Wi-Fi 6E, now it's in the 6 gigahertz band, and they have a sports car showing that, yes, it is faster. So it looks like it does use the 6 gigahertz as the backhaul channel, which I will be testing those speeds as well. And it looks like it has two 2.5 two gigabit ports, which is nice because you can essentially make your whole network 2.5 gigabits, assuming your cables are fast enough, you know, if you're running at least Cat 6, I'd probably recommend Cat 7 at this point. And you have a, if you are using a switch, if that switch is also at least 2.5 gig. Alright, so now if you guys are wondering, well, what is a mesh Wi-Fi? Does it replace my router? How does it work? Well, essentially, in a nutshell, a mesh Wi-Fi is two or more devices with at least one of them being a router. And essentially, it's designed to replace your router and it essentially increases your Wi-Fi coverage throughout your home. That's really the basic purpose of the Wi-Fi, of the mesh Wi-Fi. So it looks like it shows you how to set it up, how to connect it, download the app and stuff. So let's look at this beast. So it's definitely a unique look. I haven't seen anything like it. 12 seconds later. Okay, so it looks like they have antennas uh, on the top and you have four ports so you have two two and a half gig ports and two gigabit ports so it looks like the WAN wide area network so this is the one that hooks up to your modem and on and off button and a reset and WPS and then your power goes here and it says inspiring innovation it is plastic if you guys are wondering and yeah that's pretty much it so this is going to be identical I bet yep identical to the other one so let's see what else it comes with probably the power and oh that's nice so there's no brick so the AC to DC converter so the AC to DC converter must be built into this thing because this is what plugs in so that's kind of nice that they actually built it into this thing and what else is here ah oh, damn it I got ahead of myself. <laughs> so, no, it, it, it does have a brick. Man, this is like a computer at this point. I, I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing at this point. Okay, so yeah, so definitely a large power supply. And it is 100 to 240 volts. So it should be okay. It would have been nicer if they made this more compact. And... Same thing on the other side. Man, I really got excited there. I was like, oh, this is awesome. It just plugs in like this. It's amazing. And I'm like, ah. Then when I saw the AC to DC converter, I was like, ah. Anyway, so we also have an Ethernet cable. This is probably Cat5e or Cat6 if I had to guess. So this is a Cat5e Ethernet cable, which is very surprising because this thing supports up to 2.5 gigabit internet. So uh, assuming your internet's faster than gigabit, this cable itself will limit you. So I'm not, I'm actually very surprised they didn't put at least a Cat6 or a Cat7 cable. I'm actually, normally this is fine for most mesh Wi-Fi's because they're limited to gigabit, but this one can actually go faster. So a bit surprising there and some magical touches it is very nicely packaged so vip warranty start guide and like how to connect it and stuff all right so let's set this up and we'll go from there much 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 later it's been three weeks since i've unboxed these and i've been using it as my main mesh system and so far so good so no drops something like that and in that time i've had a chance to do all the speed tests range tests 
with wired wireless backhaul, pretty much all the configurations. And I used my Wi-Fi 6 device, which is my iPhone 13 Pro Max. And I used the combination of the Galaxy S22 Ultra and the Pixel 6 Pro, which both support Wi-Fi 6E. The, their numbers were pretty similar to each other. So I just used the Galaxy numbers, but again, very, very similar to each other. So starting with the internet speed test. Now, when you're doing an internet speed test, no matter how fast this router is, which this one's pretty fast, you're limited by your internet speeds. So in my case, my internet speeds are 940 megabits per second download and 880 megabits per second upload. And notice I said megabits, not megabytes. So one byte is equal to eight bits. That's the conversion rate. Okay, so when I do that speed test with an ethernet device like my computer, then I pretty much get those full speeds. However, when I use the speed test app on the phones, I get pretty good numbers. I mean, they're not amazing, especially the uploads. There's a huge decrease in uploads, but this is pretty typical with all the other mesh systems that I've done. Now to find out the true peak performance of this router, I get rid of my ISP and the public speed test server from the equation by making my computer into a local area speed test server. So essentially I go from phone to router to computer, isolating the router. Now this is in the single router configuration and this gets me amazing numbers, especially with the Wi-Fi 6C device, which again is phenomenal. The fact that a Wi-Fi device can go faster than gigabit is crazy. And then we move on to wired backhaul. Now what is wired backhaul? Well, wired backhaul is if this is your main one that's connected to your modem or connected to your server, then this secondary one, which is also a router, is now connected to this main router. And because it does that, this actually now acts as a node and no longer a router. But there's basically an ethernet connection between this one and this one. And the good thing about this mesh system is it actually has two two and a half gigabit ports. So if you actually run a faster LAN cable between them, so I'm running CAT7 in my case, which can go up to 10 gigabits, you can actually get really good speeds on the secondary one. And this is the configuration I recommend if you guys can do this, which is called wired backhaul or ethernet backhaul. And in this configuration, I pretty much get the same exact speeds as the single router configuration. Now, again, in this configuration, when I'm doing a speed test, if this guy sucked up to my server and this guy sucked up to this guy, I'm actually doing the speed test closer to this one. And so this is the one that's giving me those numbers. And then finally, we move on to wireless backhaul. Now, wireless backhaul is essentially the same exact thing as wired backhaul, except you remove the ethernet cable between them. So this guy is basically hooked up to the server or your modem, generally speaking. And this one is just, let's just say, um, about 40 feet away or so. It depends on your place but maybe one or two rooms away, you connect this to the power and this wirelessly talks to this one on that six gigahertz channel. And I honestly got very, very good speeds on wireless backhaul, which is what I would expect for something at this price point. And the funny thing is, so Wi-Fi 6 actually got faster, at least in the download, than Wi-Fi 6E. However, that's because it's actually using the six gigahertz band for the backhaul channel. So if I take my Wi-Fi 6C device and I connect it to the Wi-Fi 6, uh, the five gigahertz channel, basic a uh, five gigahertz frequency, then I will actually get faster speeds. So pretty amazing for wireless backhaul, which is again, what I would expect from this thing. Cause usually when you're paying a higher price point, you definitely, a good reason to pay a higher price point is if you're gonna do a wireless backhaul setup and this thing delivers. Okay, now moving on to range test. Now range will vary based on location. So if you're in between floors, if you're in a building with a lot of other interference, if you have super thick walls, all of this stuff can hurt your range. If you're in a super open area, you can get more range than I'm gonna tell you guys right now. I'm currently in not too bad of a place. It's, it's more open than closed. There are a few walls and stuff, but at 20 feet, I get really, really good numbers. At 50 feet, I'm outside, still getting really, really good numbers. And this thing takes me all the way up to 350 feet away, which is over 100 meters, which is ridiculous. I, I think I only have one or maybe two other mesh systems that can go this far. Um, but this thing gets me really good numbers, even at those far distances. So phenomenal 
phenomenal range. So I believe in when they say 6,000 square feet of coverage, I, I can see how you can achieve that. Okay, and for those of you guys wondering, the ping was at 10 milliseconds and the jitter was at one millisecond at the farthest distance, so at 350 feet. And that's when it started cutting out basically. Now jumping to the ASUS app and the ASUS settings in general, even through the browser, you get a ton of options, especially through the browser I should mention. So many options, it's almost ridiculous. If you're looking to customize, ASUS is definitely the way to go from all the mesh systems that I've tested. I mean, a lot of the other ones give you plenty of options, more options than I personally need, but this thing goes a step beyond. They literally give you so many options, it is ridiculous. I almost wanna say, honestly, I, will, I do wanna say that. It's ridiculous how many options they give you. So very, very good if you're looking for customization, but it's also fairly easy to use, uh, especially the app where they, I would say they do a pretty good job of organizing it. To summarize, this mesh system is amazing and not just because of its performance, like really good speeds over wired and wireless backhaul, really good range as you guys saw, but because of its design, it just looks so cool. This is definitely the coolest mesh system look that I've seen out of all the ones that I've tested. This is by far the coolest. It looks like a skyscraper and this part lights up when it's on and this part, it's like a little ASUS logo with some other text and then there's a little light up here that also goes on and different colors mean different things, but it just looks amazing. And the other thing is that it also has two two and a half gigabit ports. So if you have faster internet, or if you just want faster network speeds, even on the secondary devices, well, you can have that on the secondary one, which a lot of mesh systems actually miss. So the fact that it has both is a really, really good thing. But just generally speaking, the fact that it was stable looks awesome, very good speeds, both over wired and wireless back call. If you don't mind spending a few bucks, this is definitely a great choice. But let me know what you guys think in the comment sections below, as always. Smash that subscribe button and I'll catch you guys in the next one.